Gaming law in Florida can encompass both regulated and unregulated gaming facilities. Regulated facilities include things like paramutuals, which are horse racing high line until recently dog racing. Paramutual facilities in uh, Miami-Dade and Broward County can operate slot machines and card rooms under the auspices of the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation. The Indian facilities are not regulated, but are constrained by a compact between the state of Florida and the tribes, assuming that they can agree on the terms of the compact. All Indian facilities are locally owned by the Indians under federal law, and as such are not subject to state laws other than those that they choose to follow. Under federal law, the Indians can offer gaming or otherwise legal uh, gaming otherwise legal in the state. For example, the state allows paramutuals to operate slot machines. Likewise, charitable bingo is authorized by Florida statutes, and, and therefore it is lawful for the Indians to offer bingo. Unregulated gaming facilities are sometimes described as gray area gaming, and that means that these unregulated facilities operate in a gray area as far as the legality of their operations are concerned. The law has worked to the point now that it has been made pretty clear by the Florida legislature what type of amusements are permissible. Prior to uh, 2013, Florida had an arcade amusement law, which had been enacted in 1984, uh, to allow for amusement centers like Chuck E. Cheese and Dave and Buster's. Uh, these facilities operate games where a player can accumulate points uh, and win tickets, which can be exchanged for merchandise. Prior to 2013, the requirement was that <clears throat> machine, that all machines had to be subject to an application of skill. In other words, a player had to be able to skillfully play in order to win. Redemption uh, then was limited to 75 cents on any game played, and redemption had to be with merchandise, not cash. The gray area term reflected the various interpretations by law enforcement officials and the courts. Uh, the language was definitely open to interpretation. because the uh, properties, vending companies, and gaming software manufacturers had great imaginations. New forms of gray area gaming cropped up after the legislature tried to stamp them out in 2013. The most noteworthy form was the sweepstakes concept, and uh, this was a kind of business which was operated as an internet cafe, terminology typically used for a place of business where patrons can purchase internet time along with refreshments. However, the new internet uh, cafe concept was one where a patron could purchase their internet time and receive sweepstakes entries based on the amount of his or her inter internet time that they purchased. The uh, sweepstakes entries could then be opened by playing slot-like games. The fact that one could determine the result of the sweepstakes entries uh, without uh, actually using the machines uh, and the use of those slot-like games was really the ruse which was used to claim that the activity fell within the purview of the Florida Game Promotion Statute, which allowed sweepstakes in connection with the sale of uh, consumer products and services. As usual, however, the concept was expanded to the point where these internet cafes were considered mini casinos by many jurisdictions and many law enforcement agencies. In 2013, an organization called Ally Veterans owned at least 60 sweepstakes rooms across the state. The organization, its officers, and its attorney were charged with crimes ranging from possession of illegal game machines 
operating a gambling house, which is a third degree felony under Florida law, and conspiracy to violate Florida's gambling crimes chapter. That conspiracy is generally known as RICO. As a result of these allegations, though, the Florida legislature overhauled Florida's amusement games laws by outlawing sweepstakes and moving the arcade amusement laws out of the gambling crimes chapter. They created the quote, Florida Family Amusement Law, which defines amusement devices, provides rules for redemption, and classifies different types of machines which may be used lawfully, even if the machines are still illegal gambling devices. Despite this new legislation in 2015, uh, sweepstakes, arcades, and other forms of gray area gambling have remained 